Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be deleting the EGR valve. I've had some problems with it sticking lately and just kind of causing some minor issues. And it's just way cheaper to delete it. So we're gonna kind of go over the how-to on that. I've already got it disabled in the tune um, and the timing table's accounted for it. So I'm not gonna really cover that too much of that. Uh, just kind of walk it through of how, what to take out, what you gotta to do to replace and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and let it cool down right now and then we'll get started on that. Before we get started on this guys, the tools you're gonna to need is some various size ratchets and extensions for those, a 10 millimeter open end box wrench, an eight millimeter socket, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 15 millimeter socket. You're also gonna need for this kit a four millimeter allen socket and i'm using some ultra copper high temp gasket maker from permatex all right so the egr valve is this guy right here it goes up takes gases from your passenger side exhaust manifold and then some back into your intake for kind of like low rpm cruising and whatnot and it just hasn't it's been sticking open whatnot i'm not gonna mess with it um so we're gonna get going on this first thing you're gonna want to do is disconnect the electrical connector on the actual valve itself i am just going to i'll zip tie that back out of the way uh when i do the long tubes and the btr truck cam in this i'm going to uh be tying in my wide band to the signal for the EGR valve so I can monitor that with the HP tuners. Next thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do, you got two 10 millimeter bolts down here on the exhaust manifold. They're pretty tight. So you pretty much have to use an open end box wrench. I soaked these while the truck was co uh, cooling down with Croil. You definitely don't want them breaking off because you do have to put a block off plate on there and there's really you have to reattach them through the same bolt uh holes just as a precautionary step i'm going to use a 10 millimeter bolt extractor socket it just has those teeth in there it kind of bite into it and that's for the bolts down on the passenger side exhaust manifold so they're kind of known for stripping out and i really don't want to deal with that today so this is just kind of like to give it a little more bite with it being a small bolt and kind of a softer metal, so. All right, for the bracket that holds the actual EGR valve on, it's two 15 millimeter bolts into the passenger side cylinder head. Take those out, I already got this one broke loose. So we're gonna take, break the other one loose, get that one pulled out and that'll get us free from the cylinder head. All right, now that we got the two 15 millimeter bolts off, I like I said, I already got this one broke loose also. This is a 10 millimeter that holds the EGR valve into the actual, or the EGR valve hose, excuse me, into the actual intake. We're gonna pull that 10 millimeter out. And then that should just pull out like that. And you can see all the gunk that gets built up on these things. They just really, dirty up your engine all right guys i got everything off at this point so first thing we're going to put on is the block off plate for the exhaust side on these i don't really like using the factory gaskets so i'm i use this ultra copper uh max temperature gasket maker from permatex on this setup so we're going to go ahead and get that on get that bolted up and then we'll move over to the intake side so on the intake manifold size, you, it comes with the kit comes with this plug, and then it uses a this is a four millimeter Allen bolt. So I know some guys use the stock bolts for ease of taking off. This will probably never come off. I do plan on going to like a Trailblazer SS or like the 07 up style truck intakes eventually. So just get that in, tighten it down. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Like I said, you do have to get the EGR disabled in the tune. Um, 
you got to modify the tuning tape or the spark tables a little bit and then you have to uh get some code shut off for having the sensor unplugged that's pretty much all it is to it, it takes about took me about 15 minutes to do um the bolts on the exhaust manifold are the hardest part about that they just kind of a pain in the ass so that all that's all there is to it